Disclaimer. The information provided in this video is for general information and educational purposes only. Students should test cybersecurity techniques in the secured lab setup. I do not take any responsibility, and I am not liable for any damage or problem caused while implementing the tools and technique. Alright. There's an interesting file right here, let's double click on it. Bloodycoder.jpg Interesting, let's double click on it. Password required. Oh no. There's a password requirement in order to open up the file, what should we do? Hmm. Let's hack it. Just a friendly reminder, hacking is illegal. Whatever you want to do, only do it in your own hacking lab environment. Else if you get caught, do not tell them that you know Bloody Coder. Additionally, remember to smash the like button so Bloody Coder don't come after you, and hit the subscribe button so whenever there is a hacking tutorial, you get notified. So, there are several options for us. Now, that we have uncovered a file that requires password in order for us to open it up. So, what we can do now is go ahead and click cancel, close on this. And what I want to introduce to you is a way for to crack the passwords of this type of zip file. Very very easily and you can use it for several type of format. So, the first you want to do is to navigate into that particular folder where you actually have that zip file. So, once you're in, what you need to do now is to be able to push it over by using zip to john. Alright, and then you target a specific file right here. So, in this case, I have of course the bloody coder.zip. Go ahead and send this over and output to a different file. I will call this the bloody hack.txt, I will hit enter on that. And now, we're able to push it out. So, if you enter cat bloody hack.txt, you see over here, we have the values and information right here. The next thing we want to do is to use John, John the Ripper, to help us launch the attack against that particular file, so that we can find out the password for it. Here, you can see the following, I have John and I will enter bloody hack.txt and I will hit enter in 3, 2, 1. Alright, you can see right here, we got the following, no hashes left to crack. Loaded one password hash, because we have done the cracking for this before and we can redo this again. So, I was preparing for this tutorial and let's redo this again in a way that can show us exactly what is the password. So, we can do this by enter double dash enter show, hit enter on that. You can see right here, we have the following password 12345678900. That is the cracked password. What we can do now is go over to bloodycoder.zip. This is really an interesting file, let's see what we got in there. Double click on that photo, now enter the password 12345678900. Oh my goodness! Are you seeing this? With great power comes with great responsibility. So, take note, whatever you learning from this channel, use it for the good, use it for the community, for yourself, for your family, and for your business. So, once again, I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and turn on notification so you can be kept updated for the latest ethical hacking tutorials. Thank you so much once again for watching. On to the next one. Peace.